Um, this is like a low level pornography. So we like to kind of like the kind of porn they can't even afford lighting. <laughs> I think I mean, you it can't, doesn't look like the safest thing, but I don't think you can really put a. Uh, this is how a human should squat There's when humans are so many. different. Yeah. If you have a seven foot tall guy and a guy who's five six, you know, if you take the template of a human should be, let's just say between male, male and female, five four and five ten on average, probably around the world. Right. Like a lot of athletes are taller than that. Like almost everyone I work with is taller than that. So, yeah, I think it, a lot of people don't realize that too. Yeah. With WWE, those guys are fucking tall. Yeah, I'm I'm usually the short guy in the gym. You know, and, and I'm six one. Six one. Yeah. So it's um, I think there's individual anatomy. There is like that can't be an excuse because when knees come in, that does tend to pitch people forward. Right and okay you're gonna hurt you might be temporarily so it's the difference between uh some people can move better that way some people can use it as an excuse and you might be stronger at this moment but you're gonna hurt yourself All right um i don't think you have to crazy force your knees out like right. that was a trend a little while ago yeah um yeah, and there's some people that are like kind of overdoing especially some of the people who had the mobility to do so and it's uh you know, I was telling someone the other day, watching, they were watching the Olympic lifters and trying to mimic their form. But the guy he was watching, I'm like, dude, he's 5'5 five, five in Chinese and you're 6'5. It <laughs> doesn't make any sense. Like you have different anatomy, different limb lengths and stuff like that. Just praying for the best. So. You get you get to do a shitty deadlift. Alright. This regulation. It's a it's a squat bar. <laughs> so um normal like hip width stance. Right. So and keep in mind too, when it's hip width, it's kinda like I you know, you know this with deadlift. It's not where you think your hips are, where your ass is, it's like the bone of your hip. So gotcha. straight line down. So shitty deadlift, you can round your back just so your the bar is here. Right? Bend your knees. Then straighten your knees as much as you can in over 10 seconds come up real slow so it's like a eccentric stretch almost yeah squat down straighten even if you have to flex your quads a little bit but come up nice and slow uh, 10 seconds maybe squat down then straight put your legs closer like, what did you do like a couple weeks ago? Did 505 for 15 reps or something? Yeah. Oh, and that's. Oh, no. Yeah, he's a monster. My range of motion, though, I mean, I have long arms and short legs, and so. I was trying to explain to him what a monster you, you are before we got here, and then he probably saw you, and now he's probably like, well, he doesn't seem that. I'm an aging monster. He doesn't seem like that big of a monster. Aren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> so that stuff we just did, I gotta do more of. Well, of course you can do that amount of work without bringing the motion. That's right. Seriously. Without fail, the second comment on one of your posts you make of me, how tall is that guy? He's got to be 4'9". That's a narrow sumo for a tall man. Yeah, I kind of mix it up a little bit. I only work in deadlifts nowadays um, Form scattered of throughout the year. I, I train with um, with John Cena and um, so I make the workout for him and his back you have to be gentle with it sure. because of uh, his profession so when his back's okay we deadlift and when it's a little not okay we don't he could be a pretty monstrous deadlifter if he didn't fall down for a living I think yeah I can see that he did six uh, hook grip 600 the other day with like 
four weeks of yeah. Uh, he he's just he's mutated. What are you gonna do? in a few reps of both as we will go up and then maybe maybe I'll settle in on one yeah. I'm really trying to get the hand in like no I thought we were done here goes Spence good mark Side? Was that west side? Get it. There you go. What are you guys doing? I used to do six. There's my number. What I might do here, since I'm, we're mixing up a little bit, I kind of like it. The three conditions. <clears throat> I did one bodybuilding show when I was very young. I needed the money. Um, and then some just small powerlifting things, but I was always more of a, even then, actually at one of those, I realized I'd rather coach than compete because I was more into helping people than doing it myself. So yeah. I just kind of lift to lift. Back in the day, like everyone, I could do, uh, I did a little over, I think 635 and 640 unofficially because one of the plates fell off at the top of 640. But, uh, I would normally settle in the high 500s, you know. Okay. Over six is when I was like peaking, kind of, you know. Sure. But now it's in the five somewhere. Notice how like this is an important aspect of training. I'm gonna make it look like it's difficult for me to do this for one or two. That's just the way I'm making it appear, even though I could do 25 or 30. It's to get the it's to get the crowd involved. That's right. You got to build everything up. There we go. That's looking smooth, good. Nice. Looks good to me.
Five, six, eight, ten, twelve, there you go, here we go, stay with it now, stay with it, fifteen, come on, two or three more, come on, come on now. Stick with it now. Stick with it. Stick with it. Stick with it. Good. Let's end it there. Let's end it there. Good job. Good job. Good job. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't have to be to total and complete. You broke down enough where you got the strength out of it that you need. Yeah. You broke down the walls and barriers that you need. Can I stop at 15 point? My name is Rob McIntyre. I am a strength coach and uh, I work out of a gym called Hard Knock South in Florida. I've been doing this for a few decades now. I started at the University of Georgia, worked with a bunch of Olympians, and uh, throughout time I now train a lot of people from the WWE, that wrestling show where they jump around and fall down for a living. And so I've been able to combine kind of uh, string training, bodybuilding, powerlifting, weightlifting in my job. And it's awesome because we kind of get the best of performance and you have to look good at the same time. So that's me and what I do. Today I did uh, Mark's workout, which was some um, deadlifts. Not going too heavy, it was kind of heavy for me, but um, deadlift, hamstring, back kind of a thing. And we uh, did deadlifts, some light box squatting, a little hamstring work, and pumped the back a little bit because it seems that Mark's into pumping his back these days. People I've trained, um, the biggest name is uh, John Cena, now I would say. And I've worked with uh, a bunch of track and field athletes that not everyone would know the names of. Adam Nelson, Bro Greer, Brad Snyder, who were very talented throwers, among many others. And uh, somewhere between 20 and 30 other WWE talent. If you want to see me tell you what to do workout wise, you can buy a workout emoji. And if not, do not buy a workout emoji. And then you won't have to listen to my voice. Emoji is a uh, platform for trainers or people who just want to train where you can um, make workouts for your clients and they get delivered on the phone. Or you can just buy a workout on the phone from a trainer emoji and make your muscles look nice.